guys what's up it's amina today i am super excited because i am coming at you with my ethiopian facts video this was a highly requested video and i'm more than happy to be doing this you guys already know my husband is ethiopian i love ethiopia i've fallen in love with the culture and the people so without further ado Let's just go ahead and get started. Let's start off with the basics. Ethiopia is a country, it's located in Eastern Africa. More specifically, it's located in the Horn of Africa. Ethiopia was actually founded in 980 BC, BC, making it one of the oldest nations in the world. One of the coolest things is that a lot of scientists have agreed that human life started or evolved or originated from Ethiopia. So we have the famous Lucy. Her bones was founded in Ethiopia and she dates over 3 million years old. Some people do believe that the word Ethiopia derived from the Greek form which means burned faces. On a side note, a lot of Ethiopians also believe that you can find the name Ethiopia in some other ancient books as well. I'm just gonna go with the Greek form slash meaning. If you're Ethiopian and watching this, please don't get mad at me. <laughs> you will hear the word Habasha a lot. Habasha means Ethiopian. The interesting thing about Habasha though is that it's kind of just used outside of Ethiopia. I asked my husband, he said they don't really use that word inside of Ethiopia. The capital city of Ethiopia is actually called Addis Ababa, which means new flower. This next one is something that Ethiopians will tell you very, very proudly. Ethiopia is the only country in Africa Africa that was never colonized. They actually defeated the Italians twice and remained independent. Today there's over 100 million people living in Ethiopia as of 2017. It is the second largest country in Africa by population following Nigeria, of course. The official language of Ethiopia is Amharic. However, there's actually over 80 different languages and variations of those languages that are spoken. Ethiopians are actually the only group of people in Africa with their own indigenous alphabet. One of the most unique things about Ethiopia is that they have a completely different calendar and timing system. So in the Ethiopian calendar, they're actually behind. As of 2017, it is the year 2010. They have 13 months in the calendar year and the 13th month has five days unless it's a leap year, then it has six days. The time is counted differently as well. So six o'clock would actually be 12 o'clock in Ethiopia because they believe that the time should start when the day starts. So it's kind of makes sense when you think about it like that. So coffee, everybody loves coffee. Coffee was first discovered in Ethiopia, which is no surprise, it is the largest producer of coffee in all of Africa and Ethiopians have a whole ceremony for coffee. I plan on doing a coffee ceremony on my channel one day, so stay tuned for that. I'm so sorry if I'm gonna mispronounce any of these names. Abeba Bikila was the first African to win the Olympic gold medal in 1960. The cool thing about him is that he won the race barefoot. He won again four years later in Tokyo, and he became the first person ever to win the race twice, setting a world record. Ethiopian Emperor Menelik II was actually the first person ever in Africa to drive a car and that was in 1907. Esegedich Asefa became the first African female to fly an airplane. Ethiopia actually was the second country in the whole world to own and operate a Boeing 787. I thought that was really cool because I have an aviation background and I know how special those planes were. I remember it being built and manufactured and Ethiopia actually got the second plane. That is awesome. A lot of people don't know this, but Ethiopia was actually the first country to accept Islam as a religion and they sheltered some of the prophet's family and followers. I think that speaks volumes because today, Christians and Muslims and Jews all live together peacefully in Ethiopia. And that is a beautiful thing. Today, Ethiopians practice the three Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. The majority of Ethiopians are actually Orthodox Christian. The Ethiopian Orthodox Church is actually one of the oldest forms of Christianity found in the world. It came to Ethiopia from Egypt. This next one I find really cool, no matter what religion you are. It is strongly believed by Ethiopians and by others that a city 
a place called Aksum in Ethiopia holds the Ark of the Covenant. Inside of the Ark of the Covenant is actually the Ten Commandments that God gave to Moses. The actual Ten Commandments. As well as like a obelisk obelisk i'm not sure how you pronounce that but yeah the ethiopian emperor Haile selassie the first is actually considered the son of god for rastafarians we all know bob marley was a rastafarian the whole story behind rastafari is actually pretty interesting and i will leave a link down below i'm not gonna say it right now because Trying to keep this video fast. The Danakid Depression is actually the lowest point on Earth. That is 380 feet below sea level. This looks crazy. I mean, I don't think videos even do it justice. And it has the lava lake. It is one of the only lava lakes in the entire world. And this place is the hottest place in the entire world. <laughs> Ethiopia is home to the Blue Nile. The Blue Nile starts in Ethiopia, it flows up through Sudan, meets with the White Nile, and then that flows up to Egypt. Ethiopia was actually the birthplace of Pan-Africanism or Pan-Africa, which basically just means like a united Africa. This is why you will see a lot of countries in Africa have a very similar flag, which is red, yellow, and green. They have all taken that sort of Pan-Africa symbolism and it actually led to the birth of the African Union which is located in Ethiopia, obviously. <laughs> Vegetarians! If you are a vegetarian, Ethiopian food is gonna be your best friend. Ethiopian food is actually considered some of the most healthiest food in Africa. They have a lot of vegetarian and vegan dishes, so many different unique tastes. It's definitely one of the most underrated ethnic foods, ethnic foods that's out there. Raw meat. Yes, people in Ethiopia eat raw meat. I would like to add though that there's a lot of people in the world that eat raw meat. It's not just Ethiopia. They eat raw meat in Sudan. I've seen it in Lebanon. If you've ever eaten sashimi um, and some fish and sushi is raw meat. So I'm not really sure why when Ethiopians eat raw meat, it's seen as a big deal because like the majority of the world does it. But okay. <laughs> so the last thing that I'm gonna add is just my personal opinion, but Ethiopian people are very, very proud of their country. And as you can see from this list that I just went through, that's not even everything. They have a lot of things to be proud about. And honestly, I find that just very refreshing and very endearing. And I find it very admirable that they love their country so much. And not only that, they are just loving people in general. The people are beautiful on the inside and out. They're very accepting of other people and just like loving. That's that, that's the only word I can think of. They're just very, very loving people. It, it's beautiful. So yeah, that was it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything else that you would like to add about Ethiopia, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!